resultant forces. The resultant of two forces F1 and F2 is 8 newtons acting due north. F1 has a magnitude of 5 newtons acting due northeast. Determine the magnitude and direction of F2. Draw a sketch. So let's start by sketching the situation, right? So let's say this is our coordinate plane. And what we are given here is that the resultant of two forces F1 and F2 is 8 newtons acting due north. So that is north. Let me use a different ink. So that is north. And let's say this is our resultant, right? And let this magnitude be 8 newtons. We'll call this as resultant R. Now we are also given that F1 has a magnitude of 5 newtons acting due northeast. So this is north for us and that is east. Northeast means 45 degrees between them and that is northeast. And let us say this is 5 newtons. So here we will write 5 indicating the length to be 5 newtons force for F2, F1. So this is F1 for us. Now since R is a resultant, then F2 should be a vector with tail from the end point of F1 and terminating at the resultant. So that is our force F2. So this diagram represents the situation. Now we need to determine the magnitude and direction of F2. What we are really given here in this triangle is two sides and included angle. Now this angle is northeast with north which is 45 degrees, correct? Since we know two sides and included angle, we can always apply the cosine law and find F2. So F2, the magnitude of F2 is equal to, let me write F2 square first and we'll square root it. The square of these two sides which is 5 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 5 and 8 times cosine of the angle in between which is cos of 45 degrees. Now we can use calculator and figure this out. It is 5 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 5 times 8 times cosine of 45 equals to, let's put it in decimals, 32.43. So magnitude of F2 is going to be equal to square root of 32.43. So square root of this is equal to 5.69. So let me write this as 5.7 newtons. So now we know the magnitude of F2 and it is equal to 5.7 newtons. Now we need to find the direction, right? Vector means we need to find both magnitude and direction as specified in the question. Now since we know one set which is side and opposite angle, we can use sine law and find one of these angles. Let this angle be angle theta. Now in that case, sine theta over side opposite, which is 5, is equal to sine of 45 over the side which we just figured out, which is 5 point. So it's better to use four digits to get accurate answers. So we'll use 6948 right? instead of 5.7. We rounded this figure up. Now from here we can find what theta is. So we can find that as sine theta equals to 5 over 5.6948 times sine of 45 degrees. Great. Let's use calculator to find this answer. So it is 5 divided by 5.6948 times 
sine of 45 degrees which is 0 0.6208 0 0.6208 now from here theta is equals to so from here we can say theta is equals to sine inverse of 0 0.6208 and that is equal to second function sine inverse equals to 38.37 so that is the angle which resultant makes now to write down our answer how should we see it let's say this is the force right now that angle theta is also this angle theta right so this angle we calculated just now as 38.73 right so we can always say that the resultant is making or rather f2 the force f2 makes an angle of 38.73 towards west from north right so that is our answer so now we have both magnitude and direction so our answer is f2 force is a force of 5.7 newtons and the direction is from north 38.73 degrees towards west. So that is how we can write down our answer. Let me just highlight this part. I hope that is clear. So that is how we can solve this question. Have a good look at it. So first thing is sketch and then we can apply the cosine law to find the side which represents the magnitude of the force and then sine law to find the angle. So that is how such questions can be solved. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.